Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. If you are new here, my name is Tanya and welcome. So for today's video, I thought that I would show you guys what I bought from Amazon and also what I got from Asda um, at the weekend. Um, so we've got a bit of homeware, we've got a bit of beauty, um, we've got a bit of techie stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so let's just get into it. So the first thing that I bought um, was for my phone. Um, so my <laughs> the ring pull on my phone case broke last week, and also my phone case I'd had it for about two years, well over two years actually, and all of the gold paint had like come off it. It was looking really tatty. It was looking really worn down. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give my phone a makeover. So I've got quite an old phone. I've got a Samsung J3. I mean, I bought it nearly um, well over two years ago now. Um, but this is the phone cover that I got for it. It's just clear. Um, but on the back of it, it's got gold glitter in it. Um, not gold, pink glitter rather. And also some little pink glittery love hearts as well. And then when you tip it upside down, it all moves which I thought was really cool. I love a bit of glitter and I love a bit of sparkle. Um, and then also I got this really nice like ring holder as well, um, which has got like a massive like plastic diamante thing in the middle of it with little diamantes going all the way around it. Um, and it's just perfect to hook it on my finger so my phone stays nice and secure in my hand. I cannot live without one of these. Um, they are amazing um, and it just means that um, I'm not scared to like let my phone fall out my hand and smash. So if you don't have one of these or don't have a pop socket, I highly recommend that you get one just for that little bit of added safety. Um, and the next thing that I got for my phone, while I'm talking about the phone, is a new charging cable. Um, so I've got two lo long charging cables and unfortunately they both broke. So I've decided to go and get myself a new one. So. I was actually quite impressed. This is just an Amazon Basics one. So you've got your USB plug. I don't know whether you can see it. But you've got the USB plug on this end. And then you've also got the charging port that goes into your phone on this end as well. Um, this is actually in the shade Rose Gold. It's a six foot one. You've got like a little Velcro tab here to keep it all secure and neat when it's wound up when you're not using it. And it's actually got, um, it's not got a plastic casing on it, it's actually made of nylon. So it's got like a plaited nylon going around it. You can order these in different lengths and you can order them in different colours as well. Um, I'm kind of wishing now that I've got a long one, this is a six foot one, I kind of wish I had gone for um, the one above that. But oh well, this is still really really good and it i think it cost me about seven pounds um, and i think the phone case cost me about seven pounds and i think also the ring holder as well cost me about seven pounds as well um so you know it's really cheap and cheerful so give my phone a bit of an upgrade got myself a new charger i'm all good so the next put this one side so the next few things that i've got is this next thing's for the kitchen so we did have a like pot or ceramic spoon holder in the kitchen to rest teaspoons on and i was thinking to myself that i would like a bigger one to put the kitchen utensils on however a couple of weeks ago i actually broke the one that we had the teaspoons on so i thought i might as well get myself a new spoon holder or utensil holder and i found this online so it's just a silicone um utensil mat so you've got your slots just here to put your utensils in and um, it's got quite a large like area for like like if you're using a spoon or whatever to be placed on here it's also kind of got a ridge around it so any drips or spillages are not going to fall out of the mat and onto your work surface it's really really good this one is by the Zule kitchen and it says on the front no more drips and raised edges to prevent spills like I just said and on the back it says help to keep the countertops neat and drip free hold small spills with raised edges four slots capable of accommodating various spoons and utensil sizes will not slip or slide whilst cooking heat resistant and also dishwasher safe i mean what more could you want from a utensil holder really it's amazing i really <laughs> like it and i highly recommend it if you're looking for a utensil rest then i highly recommend this one i think it costs again really cheap around about seven pounds but 
that is going to last for ages and there ain't no risk of me breaking it which is a good thing <laughs> so on to the next thing so ah what i'm going to talk about so this is kind of like beauty related so a few of my foundations that i've got are actually too dark for me and i do have some lightning drops to mix in with it to make it lighter however i hate mixing my foundation on the back of my hand and um, i find that half of the foundation just gets stuck to my hand i'm using more um because of it so i just thought i'll just get like a makeup palette so this costs around about three pounds and all it is you're probably not going to be able to see it I've got something to put behind it there we go actually that's not even better but basically it's just a see-through matte it's just got professional makeup palette written on the side you've got like a nice little thumb holder to hook it put your thumb through so it's secure on your hand and then you've got like a nice little area to mix all your foundations on or mix concealers on or some lipsticks or whatever you want to do it also comes with a spatula as well so basically i've just bought myself some eyeshadow shields um again you get like a hundred in a pack um and you also get like two little spoolies with them as well which is really good um so you can you know brush through your eyebrows or you know brush through your eyelashes or whatever with them so i'm going to be keeping those because they're really good for my eyebrows um, and yeah, just like put some eyeshadow shields on. I find that some of my eyeshadows that I do have, um, some of them do stain my face a little bit and they do give quite a bit of fallout. So I'm kind of hoping that I can put those under my eyes and it'll stop all of that happening. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is my stainless steel drinking straws. Um, I've got some paper straws downstairs. I find it really hard to drink, like if I put ice in drinks, I find it really hard to like drink straight out of the glass if there's ice in there and I always have to, like to use a straw um, but the paper ones that we have just go soggy really quickly and I'm sick and tired of like using them so I thought that I would go on Amazon and see if they had stainless steel drinking straws and they came through so this is what I ordered it is a pack of eight all together they come in this really nice um, black velvet little pouch um, and inside you get two cleaners for your straws which is really good and the straws come in two different colours inside and all so yeah the straws come in two different colours so some are silver and some are iridescent also four are straight and also four of like show you four of like got a bend at the top so they call me some silicone tips and i don't really know like what to do with them because i thought that they would stop books from going in the straw or something i don't know but you can actually see straight through the straw with these on so i don't really know what these are meant to do if anybody knows leave a comment down below because i'd be really interested to know what these are for whilst we are on the topic of drinking straws um i bought <laughs> in a pack of two some silicone straws so you get these two little cases which are plastic and they both have little clips on them as well which is quite cute in the pink one you get a pink straw silicone straw and you also get a cleaner for it as well like so and to clean it out all you do is drop it through pull it out the other end and it's as simple as that and then in the white box you've got a mint coloured straw as well so i thought that, and also a cleaner and there's a little magnetic fastening on the box as well you probably can't see it there's a little magnet there to keep it shut whilst it's in your bag so i've basically bought them for me and adam like if we go out or when we're able to go out um, and we need a drink and we need a straw he's, he's gonna have the white one and i'm gonna be having the pink one obviously um but yeah i just thought these were really good to like pop in your bag pop in your car and if you're ever out and about and you go somewhere where you need a straw um you've got your silicone one okay so there are three other items that i did buy from amazon two of them are actually for adam's birthday um which are 
in this envelope. Um, I know that he will probably want to watch this video. I'm hoping to put this video up before his birthday, which is on the 9th of May. Um, but I know that he will watch this video because he's so impatient, um, but I don't want him to see what presents I've got him. So I'm not gonna show you. I might show you in a later video that I do of what I did get him, but for the purposes of this, I'm not gonna show you. And also the final item that I bought from Amazon is not arriving until um, the 19th of May. So um, I've just ordered myself some really nice fairy lights um, to go in my office to create a backdrop for my videos, um, just to kind of like make my videos a little bit more interesting. Because right now all I'm filming in front of is blank walls and I just kind of feel it's a little bit boring. Um, and I wanted something a little bit more fun to go with it. But obviously once they arrive and I've got them up then they will be featuring in future videos okay so now we've spoken about Asda, Asda. now we've spoken about Amazon let's go on to Asda for this bedroom um so which is the front bedroom we got a jersey bedding set and oh my god I've heard so much about jersey bedding and I cannot believe that Asda sell it because I thought you could only get it in V&M but for this bedding we got this which was 25 pounds and inside it you get um a duvet cover a fitted sheet and two pillowcases and it's just in this like nice gray color our house has predominantly got a gray carpet in all the curtains are gray um our house is 50 shades of gray maybe that's what you will um so <laughs> we've gone through a lot of gray decor um but we just thought that this will go perfect with the house and it feels so soft and so luxurious um, I cannot wait to get this on my bed um, it comes in like this really nice little pouch as well with elastic around the top so I'm going to keep that because that might come in handy for something um, but yeah I cannot wait to get this in the wash stop it smelling of a shop okay does anybody ever know that like or realize that when you buy clothes or buy bedding from a shop or curtains or whatever it's got that distinctive shop smell to it I absolutely hate it and I prefer you know my clothing or my bedding to actually smell of my fabric softener that I use and things like that so I am going to wash these before I put them on the bed to like make them even more soft but yeah this feels just amazing I cannot wait to get this on the bed um, and also because I have four pillows on this bed I also picked up two extra pillowcases as well in a pack but also come in this really nice little pouch um, and these are 100% brushed cotton as well I think these cost seven pounds um, which you know is really really good I cannot wait oh my god I don't think I'm ever going to want to get out of my bed when I get this bedding on it feels so so good it's just amazing and also I picked up a valance for the bed as well for the back bedroom um, we picked up like this grey again this is jersey material that it's made out of but it's not plain like this one it's got like a bit of a checkered pattern on it and um, the only difference is is that this set doesn't come with a fitted sheet whereas this other set that we picked up does but in here you do get your two pillowcases and also your duvet cover as well and again because we've got four pillows on the other bed i picked up just another pack of the pillowcases and also um, a fitted sheet which is 100% brushed cotton as well as another balance to go with it as well. Um, so, oh my God, bedtime is just gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. So now I've shown you all of this, I'm gonna unpackage this, get it in the wash, get it on the bed and I will let you know how I get on. But I think it's gonna be amazing. Cannot wait and also the final two things that I bought from Asda which are kind of beauty related um, I bought myself some Isla false lashes lash, uh, I bought myself some <laughs> Isla false lashes and these are in the shape in the shape in the style number three and they are three quarter length I don't know whether you can see them on there but that's what they look like I've never worn false eyelashes before but I've been really interested in giving them a go and I just thought these would be really nice um, as a starter to see what I think of them they were only £5.25 so they're not too expensive and finally I bought this really nice 
um, nail polish. This is the Rimmel 60 Second Super Super Shine Nail Polish, and it is in the shade Darling. You are fabulous. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love the Rimmel 60 Second Nail Polishes. They're just amazing. Um, they dry really quick, and um, they've got a really nice super shine to them. So I need to sort these bad boy nails out at some point and get this on. Cannot wait. So that is everything but i <laughs> look at all my little pile of stuff that i've got i love it <laughs> so that is everything that i got from amazon so that is everything that i got from amazon and asda i hope you've enjoyed it um if you are thinking of kind of doing a bit of decorating or kind of revamping your bedroom or you need a few bits and bobs for your house or whatever then i hope this has given you some ideas um so yeah i can't really say much more than that so if you enjoyed this video I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed come and join the fam and subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell as well so you never hit miss an upload. I shall see you in the next one.